काफी ज्यादा विशेष नहीं तुम्हारी तरह अरे स्ट्रीम वाला करो तुमको पहले दस मिनट मिल जाएगा जोंगली पे करो मिल जाएगा जोंगली को सीट तो करो जोंगली को तुम तुम भी एक विश कर रहे हो तो बीस बीस तो मारो ना कुछ तो मजा ले इसलिए मैं भी इसलिए मजा ले रहा हूँ तुम नहीं सुन रहे हो मजा मजा आ रहा है देखने में ओ क्या मिलेगा नोएल अरे नहीं कुछ और मांग लेता हूँ लाग रहा तुम्हारा इंटरेस्टिंग ओ अनदर पर्पल स्टोरी मिल रही है भाई स्टोरी पहली है मेरी ये व्हाट क्या बात है नाइस नाइस स्टैंडर्ड विशेष तो मिल रहे हैं किसी को देख दस विश कर तेरे को चाइल्ड निकल जाएगा ट्रस्ट में ब्लैक टेसल दस विश तेरे को तो मिल जाता है बट लैग हो गया भाई किसका स्ट्रीम को तो एवरेज नेट किसका खराब है भाई मैं फाइव स्टार इंटरनेट की जरूरत है टूके ऑनर्स ये सब चीजें छोड़ो इतने हराम ही हो भाई चाइल्ड लोग इतने साल वेट करा अभी भी पहले नहीं आ सकते थे घटिया मानुष लेट्स गो सायू सायू इन द हाउस सायू नारा कितने हजार विश बचे भाई तुम्हारे दो अब तो के तुम तो कंफर्म पे हो ना तुम भी टिकनाड़ी मिला था ना तुम्हें भी हमको भी हमको भी टिकनाड़ी मिला था Are you serious? Oh. 
Let's go. The child is here. Let's go. Ah, oh, oh, finally. Child mil gaya, bro. Finally. Oh yeah, so I finally got the huh. Tartaglia. Uh, in my main yeah. account, I already have the Tartaglia, but that account got hacked. So this is my secondary account. Now it's the main account. So yes, finally I got Tartaglia after so many waits and the blessings, I guess. Okay, so guys, the real question is, is it Tartaglia in 2023, the font and update where we are getting a very amazing font, uh, you know, Hydro character. We previously got uh, also very good Hydro character in Sumeru and Inazuma also. Uh, so the real question is, is still the Tartaglia is good or is he's bad as always, as everyone says, every time that Tartaglia is not that good. So we gonna talk about, first of all, compared Tartaglia to other Hydro DPS, how Tartaglia performs on the field. First of all, guys, if you are pulling for a Tartaglia, you're pulling for two main reasons. First is the character design. Like, look at the Tartaglia, guys. The character design is very supreme. Like, I think it's one of the best character design in the game. Second reason is the gameplay. Guys, I don't know about the damage percentages. I don't, I don't know about how reliable uh, Tartaglia is on the field or when you're doing this parallel abyss. But look at the gameplay. That elemental skill, that riptide effect, that elemental burst effect, that whole hydro effect when he, you know, breaks down his bow and converts it into a sword, double sword. The whole animation, the whole visuals and whole gameplay is super, super fun, guys. So, if you're pulling Tartaglia, I think you're pulling mainly for these two reasons. Third is the lore. The regular lore is super super good and we are also getting a lore in Fontaine and we, we're gonna get more lore in the future because he is a Fetui and Fetui is gonna be a main part of the story every far, every time. Sorry for the effort. So guys, is the Taglia is still good in terms of the damage and reliability in the game? I think yes. Tartaglia always has been a very good character in the game. His recognitions came very, very late when, you know, Miyohyo shines him in the lore. So everyone like, oh, he's performing like that in the lore. The lore is getting very good. So, oh my God, let's push for the Tartaglia. Guys, Tartaglia has always been good. The thing is, they released Tartaglia so early, in my opinion, they released Tartaglia so early, so unplanned. So everyone thinks that there's nothing to give to your Tartaglia. Like when the Tartaglia was released with Zhongli in the very second, third, second DLC update after the Klee update, in the Zhongli with the Zhongli, they released Tartaglia in like first, uh, fourth, fourth month of the release of the game. That's so early. In that that time, we have no artifact set for your Tartaglia. We have no proper weapon for your Tartaglia. So everyone's saying like, hey, he's a, he's a he's a bad character, and I can totally agree with that. But in now time, we have a three artifact set piece for your Tartaglia. HOD, name streams, and one more artifacts. We have total of three artifact sets for the Tartaglia. We have multiple weapons, five star and four star weapons for your Tartaglia, including the BP weapons and the shop weapons. We have Polar Star, Thundering Pulse, and Skyward are harp the three five-star weapons for your Tartaglia. Polar Star is the signature weapon which came one year later of the release of your Tartaglia. So that's that's very surprising. And the artifact set, this Nymph Dream, which is I think the best artifact set for your Tartaglia, came after two and a half or maybe more, two and a half, more than a two and a half year of the release of Tartaglia. That's really, really sad. Talking about it regularly, reliability on the field, he is super super fun and super super good. The damages are calculated on the basis of the reaction, where to, whether you are doing the vaporized reaction, bloom reaction, or the hyper bloom reaction. I know Tritaglia cannot trigger the hyper bloom reaction, but you can build a team where he, where the other character go, character gonna trigger the hyper bloom reaction, and Tritaglia here is triggering the bloom reaction. In this video also, I am using the Bloom, Hyper Bloom team and you see the team is super super good, the fun and it's very very good. So yes guys, you can pull for Tartaglia in 2023 with no hesitations guys, he can be directly compared to the 
character that we are have, we have already in the game like uh, Yelen, Kokomi, uh, Shinkyu. Shinkyu is super good as being a four star character. <laughs> so there are many characters in the game: the five star or four star uh, DPS, sub DPS, hydro character, and the Tagler can directly compete with those characters. Tagler is not maxed out; is on level 80. The talents are not maxed out. The elemental burst is on level six, and the elemental skill is on level eight. So still, you can see my Tagler is performing very good. The artifact sets. Artifact set I'm using is the Nymph Dream, a four piece, but the ratio is not that good. I'm having 80% crit rate and 176 crit damage, a little low on the crit damage. Still, my Retaglia is performing very good on the field, as you can see in this video. So, guys, trust me, Retaglia is super fun and super good. So, just close your eyes and push for Retaglia. This is very good. Okay, right, guys, so that's it for the video. Shail is very good character you should go for it otherwise uh, yeah it's your choice thank you guys for this video i think i'm uh, i know i missed out lots of information related to tartaglia in this video like the characters and the build but uh, i pin pinpointed the uh, important th things related to tartaglia in this video only so if you have uh, still have any question related to tartaglia or any other jinshin character you can comment below and also you can share your opinion that what build you are using on your uh, child and what uh, uh, weapon you are using on your child and which weapon and which character and which artifact is better with the child you can share your opinion in the comment below guys like this video if you think i did something good in this video share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel for more changing related content in the future we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care